there, Beer to Whiskey crew. Welcome to this segment of Beer to Whiskey. Here we are coming to you from the Beer to Whiskey studios high atop Barley's Tap Room in downtown Greenville, South Carolina. It is beer headquarters in upstate South Carolina. I'm your host, Russ Heaps, and I'm here with my good buddy, Big John Richards. And this is one of our Big John and Five episodes in which Big John picks a beer and uh, we just sort of talk about it and, and guzzle it. That's pretty much the whole thing. Well, we guzzle it later. Yeah, we guzzle it later. After, <laughs> after we're off camera, we sip it when we're on camera. But before we get into that, uh, Big John, what do we want them to do? Ooh, we want them to like us. Like us a lot. Like, click on like us a lot. And then, oh, and subscribe to and two. And subscribe. Two, two things. things. Got to do two things. Yeah. So look for the thumbs up down at the bottom of the screen. Click on that to like us. And then um, at the end of the video, you've got an opportunity if you want to click on a couple of other videos to watch. Or there's also a round beer to whiskey icon. You can click on that. You'll be subscribed. And a new uh, beer to whiskey video comes out every Thursday at noon East Coast time. Like clockwork. Like clockwork. You can set your watch by it if you had a watch. I'm one of the few people anymore who has a watch, but <laughs> if you had a watch. So, Big John, what do we have here? Hey, we got Allagash Curio today, Russ, which I'm, I'm we've very been, excited. Yeah, we, yeah, we've both been excited by this one. And I started this one out by talking about how this is legitimately a top 10 beer in the world, I think. And a beer that really is not, it's not possible. This beer shouldn't be possible. It's a, it's a Belgian style triple aged in bourbon barrels. And the bourbon should mm -hmm. absolutely overwhelm, overpower, just basically crush in its path everything that is the Belgian style triple. But these guys at Allagash have gotten it, they've gotten it right, real right. <laughs> so this, this actually is a mashup of two of my favorite things, which yeah. is Belgian triple and bourbon. <laughs> what could be who, better than that? Who knew? <laughs> what could be better than that? So, uh, yeah, big. It's 11.2%. It's rich. It's, in its own way, very aggressive, but it's a smooth, big vanilla flavors from the bourbon. You get some of the wood and the oak. You get the clove and the finish. You still get some of the kind of apple and pear fruity sweetness out of the thing, out of the triple side of it. And it is... It is a remarkable achievement. I have to admit that um, I've cheated a little bit. John and I were, were here last week, and, and uh, John actually ordered this. I wasn't familiar with it, but I did uh, get a taste of it. And I've been excited about actually <laughs> drinking one of these uh, for a week now since we first did that. I think we've talked about it a couple times in the interim. Yes, yes, yeah. Uh, wow. So I, I think we should just have a sip. I, I, I think agree. that's the way to make this I happen. Agree. Text Miss Lily. Sorry you're not drinking more uh. this, but. Mm. Yeah, there's still some of that banana in there, too. That real rich, fruity texture, but with all the the bite of the bourbon it, yeah still a little bit of that molasses in the finish this may be the perfect this may be the perfect beer the perfect rust beer and yeah well and, I, and it may just be the perfect beer i'm not sure but I'm, it's yeah it's, almost certainly the perfect rust beer and i'm you know i like browns and porters and stouts and this isn't any of those things but it tastes like it yeah it tastes like an imperial stout not not as maybe big and as heavy, but for eleven percent ABV, holy cow! Yeah, no, you, it's, it doesn't taste anything. It's a close little crazy. To that. Yeah. yeah, it's uh, it's pretty remarkable stuff. And Allagash has a footprint now where most of you guys can get some. If we get distracted, it's because we're cutting our time short, and there's an actual business bartender coming in behind yeah, us. Yeah, they actually they actually have to have to they actually open have to open up. to the public. We've been here all day. Gosh. We've been here all, this is the fifth or sixth segment we've, we've shot today, so. Life is rough. 
Yeah, it is. It's, I love my job. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, so there will be some activity and some noise in here. But Yeah, but uh, go seek Allagash out in general if you can't find Curio. It's, uh, they do some really wonderful stuff up there with, with sours, with Belgian styles, with just off-the-wall fun experiments with the experimental ingredients. And they pretty much just hit it right on the head every time. And they've got, they've got a, um, a, a very popular Allagash White. Right, which, which is... Which is a beer that people who like domestic sort of lighter beers, you know, that's something they gravitate toward. But my God, to think that they produce that and this... And this is just amazing. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty solid amazing. stuff. Wow. So, uh, is there anything we should know about Allagash? Um, if you're in Portland, Maine, you should look them up. You should know that about Allagash. Uh, the rest of it, we talked a little bit about, you know, with their tendency to do some experimental fun stuff and some, uh, some sours and things like that. They're really good at what they do. And one of those handful of breweries that I feel can do no wrong. I. I agree whole, wholeheartedly. Right. Uh, this is worth some attention. Indeed. Curio. Text Miss Lily. Here's to it. We'll see you next time.